Oscar-winning actor, philanthropist, and all-around cool dude Jeff Bridges, best known for his roles in True Grit and The Big Lebowski, revealed in October of 2020 he'd been diagnosed with lymphoma. He announced this troubling news via a tweet in which he optimistically stated that although he had indeed been diagnosed with a very serious disease, he felt fortunate to have a great team of doctors and that his prognosis was looking good. The dude went on to say he was starting treatment and would keep his fans posted on his ongoing recovery. Though Bridges didn't mention at the time what kind of lymphoma he had, the two primary subtypes are Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. While any cancer diagnosis is worrisome, fortunately for those diagnosed with lymphoma, survival rates are pretty decent. For non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, 69% of patients survived past five years, while those diagnosed with the Hodgkin's variety have an 85% chance of making it past five years. That being said, we in no way want to downplay Mr. Bridges' diagnosis. Cancer is cancer. Bridges' fans, however, may have good reason to be hopeful about his future. Recent revelations have shown that Jeff is not only in good spirits, but he may very well be effectively combating the disease. Join Facts First as we discuss how Jeff Bridges' cancer battle has just taken a surprising turn. Out and About In September 2021, the then 71-year-old actor announced his cancer was in remission. A week later, he was spotted taking a leisurely walk in public. He was accompanied on his stroll by his devoted wife, Susan Bridges, looking surprisingly spry in Brentwood, a neighborhood of L.A. Bridges was wearing a dark blue t-shirt, khakis, and sunglasses while lugging a backpack over his shoulder. When Bridges announced via his website that he had been in remission after months of chemotherapy and radiation, he also revealed that the 9 by 12 inch mass had shrunk down to about the size of a marble. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more news about Jeff Bridges' cancer diagnosis. He contracted COVID while on chemo. Compared to his battle with cancer, Bridges says his bout with COVID-19, which he got in January of 2021, was far worse. He said COVID made cancer look like a piece of cake. He got COVID before he was eligible to be vaccinated. On January 7, 2021, he got a letter from the clinic where he was receiving his chemo treatments, informing him he may have been exposed to COVID at the facility. Not long after, he started experiencing symptoms of the highly infectious respiratory disease. Days later, he and his wife had to share an ambulance ride to the ICU. They had both gotten COVID. Sue was hospitalized for five days, while Jeff received treatment in the hospital for five weeks. He told reporters the reason why he reacted so adversely to the disease, compared to his wife, was because his immune system had been crippled by the chemo. He further said he was on the verge of death while battling COVID, but it helped give him a better appreciation for life when he recovered. He described his experience in the ICU in rather colorful terms. He said he had moments when he experienced intense pain that left him moaning and screaming through the night. Even so, he held on to his optimism throughout the whole ordeal. By September, when he made his uplifting remission announcement, Bridges confirmed that COVID was finally in the rearview mirror. He also mentioned that after getting vaccinated, his long-term symptoms had improved. What's been most remarkable about Bridges' one-two punch of health scares is how incredibly positive he's remained. He was quoted as saying that while most people wouldn't want to get cancer and COVID, as it turns out, he actually would, as the experience taught him a lot about love. It's allowed him to feel grateful for the things he would never have had if he never had to deal with either of these two life-threatening diseases. Bridges claims he has had a sudden flash, as he phrased it, that home is a place where someone can receive, give, and learn about love. And that place can be wherever you are at any given moment. More good news. Months after revealing that his cancer was in remission, Bridges has given us yet another hopeful update. In March of 2022, he participated in a virtual panel promoting his upcoming FX series, The Old Man. In it, he thanked the show's cast, crew, and producers for their ongoing support throughout his cancer battle. He then said he's currently feeling terrific. He later told reporters that as far as he was concerned, FX and the team of professionals he's been working with had all been considerate while giving him the time he needed to heal. During production, Bridges said the COVID protocols implemented made him feel safer and eager to get down to business and play. Production of The Old Man had to take a pause twice, first in March of 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic, and once again while Bridges underwent cancer treatment. 
He told Dateline that the last year and a half felt like a bizarre dream, but it felt great to be back with the gang. Art imitates reality. During that virtual panel for the old man, Bridges said his cancer diagnosis had influenced his portrayal of his character, Dan Chase. In the series, Chase is a person who's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Bridges said that it's in those difficult times, when suffering from a debilitating health issue, that all of your philosophies and spirituality come to test you. He added that his own philosophy and spirituality had been made more mature by his experience. While he's always approached life in the same way, his recent battles seem to have made things sharper for him. The Power of Positive Thinking Science and research tells us that more optimistic people tend to live longer lifespans. In one study, it was determined that the most optimistic people survive somewhere between 10 to 15 percent longer than the least optimistic. And cross-sectional studies of cancer survivors have shown us that optimism is one of the most significant predictors of a positive long-term prognosis. Cancer patients who have high levels of optimism not only adapt to their disease better, but have even been shown to have a higher chance of beating it. From everything Jeff told us in the last couple of years, we have to hand it to the guy. He's doing amazing at staying positive through it all. This is a guy who literally expressed gratitude for being hit back to back with cancer and COVID. If anyone is able to Jedi mind trick their way out of cancer, it's got to be Bridges. And as far as his personal beliefs, Bridges says he studied Buddhism and has referred to himself as a buddhist -y bent guy. Most days, Jeff will meditate for a half hour before beginning work. He also said he's a practitioner of transcendental meditation. Another thing that keeps Bridges so positive is his rich family life. He married his wife Susan in 1977. They met while he was filming Rancho Deluxe on location at a ranch where Sue was working as a waitress. The happy couple has three daughters together, Isabel, Jessica Lilly, and Haley Rose Louise. Jeff also has one granddaughter, Isabel. Now it's time to hear from you. What are some of your fondest memories of Jeff Bridges and his films? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.